Bamboo is a very, very fast growing plant and it's highly renewable. And it is growing in forests, so it's very similar to, to trees, but it has differences. And that's why we needed to develop a specific mechanism for bamboo, for carbon accounting with bamboo. And there has been a high demand for such a methodology over the last couple of years, but um, not a, no one has yet developed a specific methodology for bamboo. That's why we got together with our partners, the China Green Carbon Foundation, the Georgian Agriculture and Forestry University, and us INBAR, and we developed the bamboo-specific carbon accounting methodology for afforestation with bamboo in China. Bamboos are grasses and not trees, so they do have very different growth characteristics. Um, they grow a lot faster and they are highly renewable. They have rhizome systems. And the way, um, yeah, the way that they are growing is just different um, than trees. That's why we needed specific mechanisms to, to be able to capture the benefits and advantages that bamboo have in, in trees. The bamboo carbon methodology is um, not only about calculating the amount of carbon that is stored within the bamboo ecosystem, that is obviously an important part of it, but it's also about the story around planting bamboo for climate change mitigation. So it is about what has happened on this land before. These are the guidelines for using bamboo as a carbon sink. The um, methodology that we have developed together with our Chinese partners has now been officially accepted from the Chinese State Forestry Administration. And this is a very, very big breakthrough because this means that now the bamboo is recognized as a carbon offset and as a tool for climate change mitigation measures. And um, that people in China can generate carbon credits using bamboo. We have so far um, the, the pilot plantation that we have, so that we have generated carbon credits from that. And now um, companies in China will do their offset with our bamboo carbon credits. They can, um, yeah, they can buy bamboo carbon credits on the voluntary market through our partner, the China Green Carbon Foundation. And this enables stakeholders, interested companies to, to use bamboo as an efficient carbon sink. There is, there is. We have, uh, we have sold already 8,155 carbon tons even before we have actually issued the credits. So that shows that there is a high demand of Chinese companies to buy bamboo carbon credits. Now that the methodology has been accepted, these issues, uh, these carbon credits can be uh, bought on the market. Well, the global significance is that um, bamboo obviously does not only grow in China, it grows in, in um, the tropics and subtropics, it grows in, in Asia and Africa and Latin America. And we're hoping to, to expand the, the knowledge that we've generated with this methodology to our other member countries. We're starting a pilot and verification phase, which lasts from 2012 to 2016. And our approximate goal is to do pilot projects based on this methodology in approximately two member countries during the next five years. So the important thing about bamboo is that it's not only a steady carbon sink or locked forest, but it's a forest that people can use and that people can generate livelihood values and um, process it and turn it into, into durable products. And that's why we at INBA are also looking in the um, role of the harvested wood products pool, the so-called HWP carbon pool. And we want to look at the whole value chain, how, how can the whole value chain act as a carbon sink? So how, can, how much carbon is stored in the bamboo ecosystem itself? What happens when bamboo is processed into, into products? And then the carbon that ends up in the product, how long is it stored within these products? And do these products actually represent carbon sinks? So that's something that we want, want to look at uh, into the future.